I've just texted my mate Paul telling him that we've got to be leaving at 5.30 tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I felt a bit guilty sending that text, but it's got to be done. Now, I've got to pack all of this. So that's the bag packed and batteries charged. I'll now show you what the plan is for tomorrow and then I really need to get to bed. Meet Paul at 5.30 a.m. Arrive here at the car park approximately 7.45. The sun rises at 8.30 approximately. We are gonna walk up Rough Crag via Blee Water to High Street. The reason we're doing this is because the sun rises from a southeasterly direction, which is going to light all of this area here. So we should get fantastic shots of blue water. Change of plan. Um, we can't get to the car park at Horsewater because there is a massive landslide blocking the road. So we're now having to reverse <laughs> up what can only be described as an ice rink um, and then we're going to walk down. So I don't think we'll be doing a big walk today because we're not going to have time. So our plans have gone to pot. So the road is blocked by a landslide so we can't get to where we wanted to go. So now we're running around at the 11th hour trying to find a nice composition for this sunrise that's going to happen behind us. So we're having to do a lot of improvising here because this is not part of the plan. But I really want to get a shot of that scene there. So what we're going to do is hike up this hill here and try and get a higher vantage point looking down onto the lake and onto the snowy mountains over there. Should be good. So we've made it up to this hill from the road down below. I can't emphasize enough how much of a rush this is. You can see the light on the hills behind us. It's absolutely stunning and it's only gonna last for about two or three minutes. So what I've got here, I've got my polarizer on. No need for any ND grads because it's quite well balanced. I've leveled my tripod perfectly and I'm gonna get a nice panoramic image to start with. Um, of the lake with the reflections and the light hitting the hills and then I'm gonna see what other compositions I can find but we'll start with a panoramic because it's the obvious choice for me right now it's a shame you see we were gonna go up there um, but the roads blocked there's no way we could make it it's gonna be at least a 45 minute walk just to the start of the trail so this will have to do can't say I'm that disappointed though because it's lovely up here. Right. I'll very quickly show you what the polarizer is doing right now. Alright, no ND graduated filters. Not necessary here. Right, so there we have quite a bright overexposed sky. I'm going to spin the polarizer, get rid of the glare and look at the difference this makes. There we go. Magic polarizer the most important filter in your kit definitely so I've just uh, switched to a vertical composition using this road as a leading line up to the mountain the reason I've gone for a vertical option is um, with the horizontal there was these trees on the right hand side and they were coming out quite dark and 
I'm not sure yet because I need to look at the image, but it felt a bit unbalanced. So we've got some we've got some lovely light just playing off the mountains there. We've got this amazing composition. Absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to take the shot and I'm confident this will look absolutely lovely. That's perfect. We've just got a sneaky bit of reflection coming through there and the whole thing just looks fantastic. Right, so I think we've got a couple of images from this spot and uh, the best of this location has now gone. Uh, the light's gone now behind the clouds. Um, and that's it. So there's a waterfall, uh, probably a few hundred yards across the fell that we're going to try and get to. Paul's gone ahead. Um, yeah, so we might get an image there. We'll see, but it's definitely worth exploring because I don't think there's any more to be had from this location or this spot anyway. So we'll see what happens. So Paul's just uh, diverted off track from the waterfall. Found an, uh, another viewpoint, so we'll uh, check it out. Hey! See what we can get. I might have to put the crampons on soon, you know, I keep slipping over. Working it like a pro. <laughs> right. Ooh! Yeah! Zeiss, 21 mil, bringing the big guns out. Right, we're gonna go for a 10 stop and see if I can get something that looks a little bit different from the image I got earlier. I think these clouds are moving fast enough to give us some sort of effect, so we'll see what happens. When you use a 10 stop filter, always focus before you drop the filter in because there's just no way that you're going to be able to focus with a 10 stop. You can't see anything. So you've got to do all your composing and your focusing and your exposure meter reading before you drop the filter in. Another piece of advice when doing a 10 stop is to cover the viewfinder because light will get in there and it will um, possibly ruin your image by spilling around and bouncing all over your sensor. So we're just going to cover that with a glove and take the shot, there we go. Now it's just a case of waiting. So that was 253 seconds at f13 um, and the result is quite nice i think it's quite pleasing um, although it is lacking detail which i suppose is what you get with the 10 stop um, but yeah just test just testing it out and seeing what happens and i think all in all we've got quite a nice image it's flipping freezing though so we have decided to abandon the waterfall um, not entirely sure there will be an image there instead we're actually going to walk down to the edge of the water and see if we can get some completely different images from a different perspective. So there's this old tower that we're going to go and photograph and stick a long lens on it should make for a great image. Yeah, I've decided not to bother with this image because there's not enough, there's no light on that tower. It's, it just looks... It just looks like a horrible dark splodge against a lovely crisp white mountain in the background. Um, so for me, this isn't going to work. So I think you've got to know when to take an image, but you've also got to know when not to take an image. And this is definitely one of those occasions. Yeah. 